Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how you can go from an AI concept image of a character to a fully animated and game ready character model that you can import into Unreal Engine 5 and use for your games or projects. So I will show you how you can go and generate any type of character concept art using only free AI tools available to us, how you can then take that 2D image and convert it to a 3D character, and then how you can take that 3D character model and rig and animate it using Mixamo. Finally, we will be able to download the model and import it into Unreal Engine 5 so you can use it in your games or projects. And all the AI tools that I use in this video are 100% free. There's no need to buy credits or even create an account. You don't need anything to use these free tools. So if you guys end up enjoying this video remember to leave a like on the video and also subscribe for more future Unreal Engine content also comment down below what type of video you guys want to see next down in the comments down below and before we get into the video I want to quickly tell you about today's sponsor have you ever dreamed of making your own video game are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything well I was in your same position many years ago and so that's why I created the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course this course will teach you step by step how to create a steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch you'll learn how to create a drag and drop inventory system a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items we'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can chop down trees you can mine rocks and pick bushes we'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and plans or tribe system so you can raid other players we'll even add this open world map and show you how to to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam-packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount the price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer so take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below all right so here we are on this ai generation website so this is deepai.org i'll leave a link to it in the description below but this website is free to use so you can write a prompt a simple prompt like this one a highly detailed 3d model of a green orc rendered in a stylized cartoon slash fantasy style so basically that is the prompt you can select hd choose the quality and you can also choose the shape of the image so i'm going to choose this shape and just click generate and there you go there's a model that you can use right there so all you have to do is right click open the image in the new tab or you can download it right here so there's our character model you can also you know generate a different character if you don't like that one or you can swap out you know the name of the orc and you could name this you know to a skeleton so let's go ahead and generate that and see what we can get and yeah there's a little skeleton model we can regenerate that and if we don't want, you know, pointy ears, obviously, we can go ahead and delete that part of the prompt. And yeah, there is our skeleton model. So we can just open that in a new tab, save that image. Now with that image, we can go over here to this website, huggingface.co, where we can use a image to 3D asset. So all you have to do is drop your image into here. So we can take our skeleton image that we generated and just drag and drop it. So there's our skeleton model. And under the generation settings, you can change, you know, your settings the strength and all that stuff, the seed. I'm just gonna click generate. And depending on how many people are using this tool, you might have to wait for it to acquire a GPU. So we'll just give it a couple of seconds. And there is our 3D model that it generated right over there. So all you have to do is extract the file. So you click on extract GLB, and that will go ahead and extract the 3D model from that. And there is the 3D model. So that is the GLB file. You can see it didn't really do a good job on the face. I'm not really pleased with those results. But other than that, I think it did pretty well with the bones. You can see that it got all the different holes in there. So once you're pleased with the results, you can download the file. Now we'll go ahead and download the 3D model. I'm going to do this again with another image that I've generated. So you can just click on here to drop in a new image. So here is another character model. We can generate a new 3D asset from that. 
Okay, so here is the 3D model. You can see it did a pretty good job on this one. So now it's finished generating, we can just extract the GLB file. So let's extract the model. Okay, and so here is the model. As you can see, this is what it looks like. We can go ahead and download the file, the GLB. So once you have your file downloaded, this is what it'll look like. So we'll go ahead and import this into Blender real quick because we'll need to fix the model. So in Blender, we can just file and import the .glb file. So you go ahead and select that and browse to wherever you have that file saved. And so once you import it, you can see that our model is lacking any smoothing. So select the mesh. All you have to do is go to Object, Shade Smooth. I'll go ahead and apply smooth shading to our character. Also, if you go into edit mode, you press tab. We want to merge vertices that are close to each other. So press M and do by distance. So now if you go out of the edit mode by clicking tab, you can see that we merged any of the vertices that were close to each other. Another thing that we can do is press tab and just press G and Z. So we can move our character up on the Z axis. And if you go into the right view by clicking six, we can press Z, G and then Z again to move it down. So we can just position it right here at the center. Then we can just go ahead and file and export the selected model as a FBX. So just export that. We can click selected object and just export this into our downloads and you can just name this SK Orc and selected objects and click export as a FBX. Okay, once we have our character model, we can go ahead and head over to Mixamo.com. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. You'll need to either create an account or log in with your Google account either way. But once you log in, you can go ahead and upload a character. So click on this upload character button and you can drag and drop the character model that we created or exported as an FBX. So I'm going to take our orc character and just drag and drop it right in there. And we'll just click next for the orientation. That's going to ask us to place markers. So we just place a marker at the chin, place one at the wrists, place one at the elbows, one at the knees, and then one at the groin, so just like that. And we can choose our standard skeleton, and I'm gonna choose no fingers, just so we don't have to rig the fingers. You can choose, you know, whatever your settings here, but these are fine for me. So then you click next, and it'll go ahead and run the auto rigger to auto rig the character. Okay, so here is the finished rigged character model. This is what it looks like. So that looks good, we can click next. And then we can go ahead and choose an animation. So there's tons of different animations to pick from. We can search for creature and they have this creature NPC pack. So if we click on that, you can see that this has a bunch of different creature animations, walking, attacking, all sorts of things. So we can go ahead and just download that and just click download. That will download that entire pack with all the animations as well as the character model. And then you can just extract that pack and you should have all the animations as well as the character model right here. So once you have that, you can create a brand new Unreal Engine project and this create a new folder and just take that folder with the imported animations. Take the SK orc. This is the character model. Drag and drop it. It's going to ask us to import this character. We'll click import. Now we'll go ahead and import our character model as you can see. We'll need to set up the materials and textures. So to get our texture from our character, what we can do is take our original file. Let's create a new folder first and double click open there. Take your original GLB file and just drag and drop it into the content folder and click import. And then we'll have that material or the texture. So we can just take that texture. We can delete this because we don't need that file. We already have our character model and just move it into our org folder. So we already have a material, we can just double click, open that up, delete all of this, and just drag in our texture, plug that in for the base color. And we could add a constant by pressing one and clicking, and just plug this in for metallic, speckler, and roughness. Okay, just save that. And now we have our character model set up. So we can just drag in into the scene. So this is what he looks like right over here. And what we can do is we can import our animations. So let's go ahead and take all of the animations over here and just drag it and drop it into the content browser. Make sure that the skeleton is selected or orc skeleton and just click import. That will import all of the attack animations. So now we can do file save all. So now we can just drag these in here 
and drop all of the animations in our scene and hit play. These are some of the you know walking animations right over here. And we can have some attacking animations as well. And that's pretty much it. You can use this character in your games. It's pretty well detailed, as you can see. And this would be really good for like a top-down game, like a top-down RTS game. You could use it for third person or even first person if you'd like. But that is the simple process of taking any you know image, generating a 3D model from that image, cleaning it up in Blender, and then importing that into Mixamo where we can finally download animations and a fully ready, game ready character model. And of course, what we can do is we can even just browse to this asset and in 5.5, we can go ahead and enable Nanite on this. So let's just go ahead and Nanite enable that. And now we have Nanite enabled on this character mesh. So let's go ahead and check this out. Go into lit mode, nanite, triangles, and there we go. We have some nanite characters, game ready and optimized to use in your scene or your games or whatever you're using these for, which is a simple couple of clicks of our mouse. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. Pretty quick and easy process for creating a 3D character model and no need to pay or you know, purchase credits to generate these characters. This is completely free to do. But that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.